Hello, my name is Yvette D'Entremont and I am a professor of mathematics education at Faculté Saint-Jean, the French faculty of the University of Alberta. <clears throat> this presentation is related to a study where students, actually practicing teachers, enrolled in a graduate course relating mathematics and culture, were asked to create a mathematical activity related to the cultural diversity of the students in their classroom. The activities were so well done that it led to further research on the link between mathematics, culture, community, and the teaching of mathematics with cultural significance. This presentation presents a brief glimpse on cultural activities that can be incorporated in the teaching of mathematics. The United States and Canada are ethnically diverse and multicultural countries. Both Canada and the United States extend from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean and share a common border. Both countries are large in area, however the population of the United States is nearly ten times that of Canada. Such a large area with such a diverse multi-ethnic population has an impact on all facets of government, including education. <clears throat> In order to teach mathematics with cultural significance, one must first realize and understand the extent of the country's cultural diversity. Canada is composed of ten provinces and three territories to the north, Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. However, Canada does not have a federal ministry of education. Each province and territory is therefore responsible for their own education curriculum and programs of study based on the historical and cultural diversity of each region. <clears throat> the intensity of migration into Canada signifies a constant change to the cultural configuration of Canada's population. The cultural landscape of the schools is in constant evolution. The cultural reality of each school district is characterized by the needs of its students, which in turn determine the curriculum that will best meet the needs of such a diverse cultural reality. Teaching mathematics then requires a knowledge of the everyday social and cultural context that a student lives and plays in. Each student carries his or her own mathematical knowledge, other than school knowledge, pertaining to his, her own personal culture. This mathematical knowledge should not be overlooked, nor should it be taken for granted. <clears throat> Teaching mathematics to a group of students with the same mathematical abilities, the same learning style, and the same cultural backgrounds would probably be easy, but perhaps it would also be boring. However, this is not the case. Students in the same classroom have various lived experiences, cultural backgrounds, and learning styles. The cultural realities of each school jurisdiction characterizes the needs of the cultural reality within it. These cultural differences must be taken into consideration if learning in any subject is to take place. Teacher behavior is the strategies, attitudes, beliefs, and values used by teachers. It is the teacher's responsibility to understand the cultural diversity within his or her classroom. It is this knowledge that will create a favorable communication between the students, the teacher, and learning. Not only should the teacher be aware of the ethnic or regional culture of the students, but the cultural context within which they learn. They must also study how the personal culture of the students affect their learning styles. <clears throat> Many teachers in subjects such as chemistry, mathematics, physics, and biology are under the impression that mathematics is a culture-free discipline. Nothing could be further from the truth. It can be said that all cultures are rich in artifacts that exhibit mathematical concepts. For example, traditional beadwork, basket weaving, and rug hooking are but a few. The basket weaver may not even realize that he or she is doing mathematics simply because he learned the art from his parents or grandparents and the process comes naturally. Some teachers of mathematics would argue math is math. The academic content remains the same, but learning styles don't. 
Teaching the academic content requires adjusting teaching methods to meet the academic needs of a culturally diverse student population. Mathematics is not a culture-free subject. Mathematics is a language that has its own symbols, syntax, grammar, and a variety of representations. It also relies on intensive use of different types of letters to represent variables, signs for numbers, diagrams, formulas, algorithms. The symbols I will be discussing here are not mathematical symbols, but symbols related to ethnic cultures. For example, a flag is a culture. This presentation will use a variety of cultural symbols to demonstrate the link between mathematics, culture, and community. One factor that influences how a child learns in general is the education he, she receives at home. For this reason, it is important to link the cultural heritage of students to the learning of mathematics. Recognizing the mathematics knowledge already possessed by the students received at home gives mathematics a concrete significance. <clears throat> mathematics is an integral part of all cultures which in turn influences how a person perceives and interprets mathematical knowledge. Take these baskets for example. These baskets were made by Micmac basket weavers in Nova Scotia, Canada. The baskets on the right are fairly old. The basket on the left is a fishing basket that was used to put fish that were caught. The baskets are very sturdy. However, these basket weavers would tell you that they did not use math to create the baskets. This is an example of a basket created by a Micmac basket weaver in Prince Edward Island, Canada. <clears throat> the basket is very detailed and the artwork is quite impressive. However, when asked about the mathematics involved in creating such a de detailed piece of work, her response was, I don't do math. She actually does a lot of math but just doesn't realize it. This is an art she learned from her parents and grandmother where cultural traditions are passed down orally. <clears throat> According to the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, students should be exposed to a variety of diversified experiences that are related to the cultural, historical, and scientific evolution of mathematics. An emphasis should be placed on the creation of mathematical experiences that are related to the cultural experiences of students. One such example is the quilt. <clears throat> In many cultures, the making of a quilt is a tradition passed from one generation to another. The quilt has a historical and artistic value as well as being a mathematical creation. Different quilt patterns provide a basis for teaching a variety of mathematical concepts. Some patterns are quite simple and some are very complex. Here are two simple math design, quilt designs which can be used to teach a number of mathematical concepts. When I look at these two patterns I see estimation, area, perimeter, shapes, translations, rotations, reflections, fractions, symmetry, to name a few. A teacher could ask students to create their own design using a variety of mathematical shapes and concepts and explain how the design was created. The pisanka is another cultural symbol. This colorful art has been a Ukrainian tradition for centuries. Vagerville, a small farming community in Alberta with the largest Ukrainian settlement in Canada, is home to the largest pisanka in the world. The egg, as it is commonly known, <coughs> measures 25.7 feet long, 18 feet wide, and stands 31 feet high. The 2,000 pound aluminum skin is attached to the center mass at a 30 degree angle with 177 turnbuckle struts. The massive internal structure, which weighs 3,000 pounds and rests on a 27,000 pound base of concrete and steel and turns in the wind like a weather vane. Professor Ronald Reach, computer science professor at the University of Utah, was responsible for the entire concept which required the development of new computer programs. 
It really is an immense jigsaw puzzle containing 524 star patterns, 2,208 equilateral triangles, 3,512 visible facets, 7,000 nuts and bolts, and 177 internal struts. <clears throat> it is recognized around the world as not only a unique artistic masterpiece, but also an achievement of nine mathematical, architectural, and engineering firsts. The design represents the first computer modeling of an egg. Now that's math. Let's simplify the math. Using an oval-shaped diagram, students can use mathematical concepts to create their own Pisanka design. Not only does creating a Pisanka design involve mathematical concepts, it also involves an understanding of the cultural meaning of the symbols of the colors and shapes. For example, red means happiness, hope, and passion. The sun and the stars mean life, fortune, and growth. The Santé Fléché, or French sash, or arrow sash, is another historical and cultural symbol in French Canada. It was a practical as well as a fashionable accessory, and usually the sash is long enough to pass around the waist twice. We can simplify the process by comparing it to finger weaving. Who remembers macrame? With a coat hanger and a few strands of wool, Students can create their own pattern, their own sash or belt with just a few colors. It is important to integrate the cultural heritage of students in the teaching and learning of mathematics. A factor that greatly influences how students learn is the education they receive at home. It therefore only makes sense that familiar objects and contexts be used in mathematical teaching to enhance learning. This learning situation then becomes familiar and relevant and has meaning for students. It is important to recognize the experiences and the learning that the students already possess through their family, their culture, and their community. Members of the community should be involved to share in the teaching. Members of the community are willing to share their knowledge and are always eager to act as resources to school activities. Inviting members of the community to help with these activities permits students to see the historical and cultural significance of each symbol and allow members of the community to share their cultural values and traditions with the younger generation. <clears throat> Let us review the symbols. All four symbols have a historical, cultural, and mathematical connection. Historians would be able to tell you much regarding the historical significance of each symbol. Here lies the importance of inviting community members to act as resources. Not only should familiar cultural objects and contexts be used in the teaching of mathematics, but they should also be used to teach the historical and cultural significance of the symbol or object itself. Not only will students learn mathematics, but will also learn about their own culture and the culture of their classmates. This is surely what education in a diverse society is all about. There is more than one way to teach mathematics and more than one way to arrive at an answer. Our perception and interpretation of mathematical concepts are directly related to our own personal ethnic culture. <clears throat> In order for understanding to take place, this must not be neglected. Culture is a vital part of who we are, and if understood, enables us to work and learn effectively together, even in mathematics. Thank you.